Today at Gadget Class, I'm putting one of these new semi-flexible solar panels to the test. This is a 100 watt semi-flexible solar panel. They're actually made of a laminated, like clear PTFE and aluminum kind of sheeting there. And the total width is like, you know, just over a 16th of an inch there. If you include the grommets, it's probably like an eighth of an inch, but uh, really impressive. And these are kind of designed to be used on boats and RVs. Actually, they're uh, particularly suited for boats because they are ultra water resistant. Um, standard solar panels, uh, they can get uh, corrosion on all the aluminum parts. Since this is like fully enclosed and laminated, it's going to be much more resistant to salt water and marine environments. It does come triple protected in three different boxes. It comes in an outside box, an inner box, and then a thick cardboard sheeting, and it is plastic bagged. Um, it does have MC5 connectors on it and they do include a little instruction manual and instead of uh, putting this up on top of my RB and hooking it into my standard solar array I'm going to put it to the test on the bench here we're going to try powering a 12 volt cooler um, a whole bunch of cigarette lighter adapters uh, accessories I actually uh, put in some MC5 connectors on a triple cigarette lighter adapter there we're going to take this thing out in the full sun, see what kind of amps and volts we can get and what we can power with a cigarette lighter. Um, you know, the same thing would apply if you're going to hook it up to a charge controller, but I figured, you know, that everyone's going to do that. I want to see what you can do with it um, on a raw voltage and amperage basis. So let's put this thing to the test. I'm trying to get the sun to cooperate with me today, but I've got a 12 volt cooler hooked up and it's hooked up straight to the solar panel via cigarette ladder there. And we are getting 3.72 amps and uh, 11.04 volts. When the sun was not being covered up by clouds, we were getting uh, over 12 volts and over four amps. And uh, just to show you that uh, we are getting about 30 watts there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, turn on this other 12 volt cooler here and that's gonna instantly drop our volts in half so now we're getting 6.2 volts and 3.97 amps so it cut our volts in half but we're still getting um, the same number of watts out so I'm gonna go ahead and unplug that again so now we're up to 10.6 volts, 3.61 watts. And uh, this has actually been on for a few hours with the, the clouds and stuff. And we're down to, down to 92. It's actually over 100 degrees here in Arizona today. But this is nice and cold and the fan's flowing nice and strong. When the clouds were uh, covering up the panel, we were only getting, uh, I think we got down to like 7 volts. But now we're back up to 10. So it has no trouble powering a 12 volt cooler. Let's see what else we can power. Here we've got a five meter roll of uh, five millimeter LED SMD strip lights and we're actually pulling two amps with those. Those things are no joke. They take a good five amp power supply to power a good size roll of SMD strip lights. Uh, we're actually getting 13.22 volts and about two amps. Overcast. I'm now charging my uh, Saki portable jump starter and it is charging at about an amp there. One amp and 17 volts. I'm actually pretty thoroughly impressed with this semi-flexible solar panel, especially if you're uh, in a boat or you're doing some sort of RV adventure or you just want to have outdoor power like I've done here today. Um, it puts out every bit as much uh, watts and amps as my full-blown solar panels. Um, it would be great for a boat. Um, it pretty much did everything I threw at, at it. Uh, we got quite a bit of clouds today. Um, we get our Arizona monsoons, but even with a semi-partially covered sun, um, I was able to fully power both of these 12-volt coolers, uh, power inverter, um, charge up my jump starter, um, LED lights, um, anything that runs in the, you know, 6 to 20 volt range, it seems to do just fine, um, up to about 5 amps. And it, uh, it met its rated specifications just fine. Um, you know, I got up to uh, 
20 and a half volts or uh, open voltage uh, yeah I definitely came pretty close to those specs on a cloudy day so it does what it's uh, supposed to do and it would be great for you know a high moisture environment um, anywhere where you need something to go over a curved surface you could even attach it to the roof of your your car and uh, strap it down and give yourself plenty of power on the go for a camping trip um, multiple uses multiple applications i'm going to go ahead and give it five stars because i can't find anything wrong with it and it meets its specifications without a doubt so make sure you hit yes for found this review helpful. Make sure you hit thumbs up on the YouTube video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.